Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Masi Chess Game from the history of chess. And in this chess game, white is Leonis Steep and his opponent is Lajos Portich. Lajos Portich was the Hungarian Botvinnik and one of the most dominant players from the 1960s until 1980s. One of the top players in the world and Leonid Steed, on the other hand, was three times chess champion of USSR. Both of them was pretty formidable chess players for that time. And let's check out what happened in the chess game from 1962 in the Stockholm Interzonal Chess Tournament. So Steen, who has the white pieces, starts the game with Ping Ipur. And Steen was also known as an attacking genius, an attacking master, a very dynamic attacking player. So he starts the game with Ping Ipur, C5, the Sicilian defense. And we have the Khan variation, D4, exchanging the pawns, A6, Bishop to D3, Knight to F6, castling, Queen to C7, Knight to D2, Knight to C6, exchanging the knights, F4, Bishop to C5, check, and pushing the pawn, E5, exchanging the pawns again, there is nothing very interesting at this moment of the game, Bishop to C4, King to H8, Bishop to G5, Knight to D7, so probably in that position, white was threatening to capture the knight and damaging the pawn structure, so moving the knight. Rook from a to d1, knight to b6, attacking the bishop. And this is the most interesting moment of this chess game. What would you do in this position? Black is attacking the bishop, bishop on c4 is under attack. What would you do in this position? Maybe defending the bishop comes to mind, or maybe capturing the bishop. Bishop takes on e6. Well, Leonid Steen is not going back. He captured the pawn. Knight takes on g7. What a move. What an incredible move. Sacrificing the bishop and then the exchange. After bishop takes on c4, black is also attacking the queen and the rook. What happens in this position if capturing the knight? If king takes on g7, then check. And basically black is getting checkmated. Queen to g5, checkmate. And if making room for the king, this time queen to h6. Bishop to f8 is not working because of check and then checkmate. So in this position, Leonid Steed captured the pawn and sacrificing everything. Bishop takes on c4. The queen is under attack. What would you do in this position? Leonid Steen played an incredible move and he played bishop to f6, what a move, sacrificing the queen. But we have bishop to e7. If bishop takes queen, then knight to f5, check, king to g8, and then checkmating the king, knight to h6. Did you see this? Well, this is why he is sacrificing the queen, bishop to e7, not accepting the sacrifice. And then queen to f3, and black resigned. A short but instructive chess game from the Stockholm Interzonal Chess Tournament, 1962. Let me show you the possible continuation. If capturing the rook, then check. King to g8 and then checkmate. So capturing the rook is out of questions. Let's say bishop takes on f6, then queen takes on f6 and threatening all kinds of nasty discover attacks to the king. And there is no sensible defense, so let's say bishop takes on f1 and then checking the king and then checkmating the king. There is no defense, once again. What an incredible attack by Leonid Steen, who is known as an aggressive attacking player. So in this position, he basically sacrificed the bishop. And then he is attacking the king, bishop to f6. He says, you can take my queen, but I'm going to take your king. Bishop to e7. And after queen to f2, black resigned. Lajos Portich resigned. And you know why he resigned. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.